In this video, we are going to learn how you can basically set up a project in Unreal Engine 5 for our Android mobile game by coming to set up, and to export, and etc. We also learn some guides that will be helpful in our future to develop the mobile game. The first thing is you need to set up the SDK, MDK, JDK in Unreal Engine 5. Okay, so we can export that game for Android. Okay, if you don't know how you can set up SDK and JDK, please check my link below. I already provided a link that how you can set up. I already make a YouTube video and I have lots of YouTube videos. So you can watch them and you can basically export. Okay, now let's learn how you can basically create the project. The first thing is game. If you go to games, there's a lot of templates available, but I don't prefer you to choose the blank project because they give a more larger landscape for Android game. So let's use the third person template and let's set it the mobile. The second is quality preset. The quality preset is maximum and scalable. This thing means just look the sharpness of this background. Okay, as you can see, it's quite enough. Good. If we choose the maximum, we'll be get like this. If we choose the scalability, so then we'll be get more better performance. But there's some sharpness will be gone. Like there's some edge will become like some pixel type render. The second is started content. We don't need started content for our mobile game development, but if you want, you can use. Also, we don't need purchasing. And then, second, let's create the project. That's all for it here. Now, once you press the create, it will be start creating the project. It will be maybe shadow compile if you do first time. The second is we need to go to project settings and we need to move some stuff. So, right here, we have basically this template. As you can see, the Android Sharp have some, you know, be, uh, better than or bad than the PC, but it's good. Now, if I show you that, as you can see, it's have like this. Okay, as you can see, lighting is some friends and etc. PC. So the first thing, let's go now the in files, then project settings. So you can go to edit, then project settings. Once you go to project settings, you find something like this. Then you need to what you need to do, just search here that mobile. Once you search mobile. Here you find lots of stuff. One is the always show touch interface. If you press this thing, what will be do? It will be give you a joystick. So at here you find the uh, default joystick. Also, if you choose at here, you find one more virtual uh, that is a left mouse virtual joystick. But for now, in my case, there's I have uh, the default joystick. So as you can see, this is the default joystick. But as you can see, I can't touch up. So for enabling that, what I need to do. Just go to again your project settings and here you need to write that touch once you touch search touch you find use mouse for touch so now you can basically control like like your touch screen this has become a touch screen now so as you can see it's working now with this left one we can basically move our character with this we can rotate our camera that is quite enough bad and this is most old classic stuff and as you can see there's a one more issue the first issue is the joystick are going you know out of screen so for fixing this for fix this what you need to do just go uh, at here then search why is this and oh, in my case it's in separate window so let me just enable for you at here uh, because i have two monitors so that's why basically it's shifting there ah uh, let me minimize that also make sure you need to enable your engine content okay so just add here settings press settings then make sure that engine content is enabled now double click oh my god why it's not coming come at here i want you at here <laughs> okay it's not coming wait let me get one more panel for you and yep this now i choose this virtual like this there's also one left mode joystick you can drag and drop this too so then you can double click and open and once you open go to controls as you can see there's a boolean enable that preset recenter so just press on enable and once you do that what will we do right now ah, let me just keep my content browser right here okay now hit this so as you can see it's it will be not moved from at here right now it will always stay at here okay the first thing is this second about now let's learn about how we can basically get better quality with performance so for that we need to add a pack basically so let me add a pack uh, and i will be use the nature pack so there's a now the third number tips for you how you can basically choose a perfect asset for your 
Android mobile game. So basically, you need to find the low quality and less triangles and less vertices. Basically, the asset kind of like this. I have this a nature pack, and this is totally ready for Android mobile game. So now let's click on add a project. Now let's choose our mobile project, then add project. And the first thing what you need to do is check the how much triangles and vertices they have on this like this mesh, how much triangles and vertices have. So as you can see, they also give you the texture size that is 256 to 1024, that is HD, that is quite enough good for the Android game. So and on this variety pack, on this pack, we have lots of kind of like variety trees, like there's a lot of variant trees app, so we can use that. Also, make sure that uh, the base is three materials and two uh, 32 materials instance. The material instance is more less co uh, costly than the base material. So if you're which pack you're going to use for your Android game development, if it's have more instance than the base, so it will be it will give you more better performance. Okay, now compile and save and if you go to nature pack and go to mesh and it is scale floor. So here all the trees we have. Now for example, I'll let me drag just one tree in different types of distance so you'll understand that what I'm going to show you. Like let's give a tree at this distance and the same tree but also once the shader compiling do not change the scale or your tree will be become with, uh, hidden in the game world. I don't know why this is maybe glitch of Unreal Engine like if I want to scale right now it will become gone. Okay, so I don't want so you can duplicate that so there's no issue so simply duplicate so like this so as you can see we have the quite enough super realistic tree that which which one we don't need basically just look guys why you need like this stuff so let me just uh, make one more stuff and make it some distance quite enough distance so as you can see this is basically what I want to show you the allodies okay so the allodes is totally very important for the android game so if you go to lights and then go shader complexity and quartz so you'll be see that how much complexity it's have like this one as you can see it's have too much then uh it's have it not have too much but it's have like it's have less than uh, it's have too much and this one then also as you can see this one is quite enough optimized so if you use these two categories trees, we'll get more better performance than this one because this one have too much triangles and vertices. Also, what you can do, as you can see, the alloy is changing. And then if I go, as you can see the sharpness, okay, there's I have some pixel type, you know, GPT or issue. So there's a one more issue you'll find that this one that as you can see some of cases the normal is totally showing wrong or the shadow for fixing this what you can do is go to edit and go to project settings and then you can go to search here that shadow and here you find the virtual shadow so you can change that to shadow mapping beta if you want it's totally depends on you uh, if you want but make sure if you use the uh, virtual shadow mapping beta the if you use the shadow map beta so the nanite will be not work for this okay lots of have question that bro can are nanites support in mobile yes nanite supports mobile but nanite for now nanite doesn't support the foliage or the transfer any kind of like transparent assets or etc so if i show you the nanite so here on nanite visualization we can overview and i don't know why in my case it's not show it's have glitch maybe in my case so now for enabling nanite you can right mouse and then or you can just search wise asset and just double click and open and at here you find the nanite support just enable and click on apply so this asset will be automatically start compiling a shader and it will be now support the nanite okay but we can't use this word tree but in 5.1 will be we can use the nanite for our polyester tools also or the end time transparent so it will give you more better performance now as you can see at here in this scene if you go now go in nanite so we can see that yep there's a nanite in the in this whole scene there's only one nanite actor this 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 we can see that how it's behaving and it is stuff okay 
like just look they are all one as uh, red but this one is green so we get more better performance now let's learn about the purple if you want to populate a area so for example let's i want to populate this area how will we use basically the foliage tool for populate so let me add some tree kind of like this tree so it will automatically convert that into foliage type so simply click on save now let me just do some customization so i can show you also i'm changing some scale variance so 5.2 to 1.2 and then if i click on plant so let's just plant just i'm planting like a random stuff nothing else so yep we have these three three trees and now for populate this area the ground we need to use the grass will be everyone use grass so let's use some grass like this grass so it's all or also will come and now uh, let's give it a one point to two points so we'll get enough you know percentage so then and simply click on like this okay so i'm just trying to populate this nothing else so here we have like this simple scene so now if i try to play as you can see this have too much okay like if i go to now the lit and optimize then share the quotes so you'll be see that how much triangle and vertices this have like just look uh if i go to course complexity so you'll be see complexity and etc so now how much as you can see it's using the wind or um if i want to tell you that if you want to use a wind uh asset so it will be give you it will be take more costly for it so, okay basically it's a bit more costly component for your game so you can disable the wings so it will give you more better result okay like in performance and other stuff so if i go to state that engine and unit craft you will be see that how much as you can see what i don't have 30 fps because from my screen recording however will be get 120 fps that's here but as you can see the drop all is more than 600 and trim is 200 so that was quite enough very high okay so also it will be costing gpu too much so what you can do is we can go to this tech uh, asset instead of that go to this material and then go to parent and here is the win offset so we can close that and click on save and once we do that it will be compile shader again and then the will the wind will be become off for this asset if i just reply now as you can see it's have but it's, it will be now compile less uh, graphics or it will be use less graphics right now because there's a nothing need to move okay but as you can see the trees are some moving because the trees still have some moving a uh, wind so we can disable them also now one more thing if i want to show you like uh kind of like let me show you this that if you want to check that how your project looking in android if you export this game how it's look in android so you can enable go to settings then go to uh, preview render and at here you can enable the android estc one it will be compile shader mode but it will be give you basically a 80 percent quite enough good look or similar look like if you export this game or if you export this scene how it's look in android it will give you at least 80 percent similarity in your editor panel so you can find the issue that kind of like this kind of like black spot or why is the normal map not working properly or why are your texture become shrink or and if there is a collision issue you will see also you can see it here also you find why is the color dismatch or why is the kind of like pixel type render or the texture become very bad or etc shadow issue okay you find similarity at here also you find the accurate triangles and vertices information on your editor panel if you enable the android estc so once you export your game in android and if you just try the unit graph and check and you also if you enable at here you will be see the you find the same result the same draw call same trims 
on your editor panel too so it will be give you basically help you to optimize your scene and basically it will be give you more better performance like if you find the issue so you can fix that okay so that's why if you want to create an android project so make sure you enable that and try to check as you can see it will be compiled now lots of shader like more than 6000 so let me give it let give it to compile shader and as you can see once it's compiling shader as you can see my scene becomes some blur but because the blur and the because we use the uh the stability that's why the environment becomes some blur and then the assets looking some blur blur and even doesn't have sharpness too but for that i'll be get more better performance and etc as you can see also for rendering after render in android you'll be see that uh it's have kind of like what kind of issue it's have like why is the protection not showing properly etc okay and let me give it a uh, share compile and once this thing done we'll be try to export that for android and next tutorial we'll be try to optimize this thing more now thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in next tutorial video